ArcGIS Pro 2.6 features threshold rings and threshold drive times as new methods within the Generate Customer Drive Trade Areas tool. This tool is part of the Business Analyst Toolbox. Threshold rings and drive time polygons expand outward from input stores until your trade areas contain a specific percentage of customers. Let's walk through the tool to learn more. As a business owner, I want to examine the sizes and shapes of polygons that encompass 70% and 90% of my customers based on driving time from my stores. The trade areas are created using available routes in the Business Analyst Street Network. The polygons expand until my criteria are met. The attribute table of my new trade areas contains fields that list, in this case, travel times within the polygons and related distance units. This tells me that to reach 70% of my customer base, an area of 25 minutes driving time is required. I can apply this output to new or existing sites as a proxy where I have no customer data. Alternatively, I can use the threshold rings method to create a different type of trade area. Threshold rings, unlike polygons, do not rely on street networks and therefore produce trade areas of consistent shape. The size of the polygons will vary based on the radii percentage values and customer distribution. In this case, I am interested in using threshold rings to create trade areas that capture 70 and 90% of my total sales. To create threshold rings based on the weighted volume of a field, I open the Generate Customer Drive Trade Areas tool and select my method. Then, I change the customer aggregation type parameter value from count to weight. I then set the customer weight field parameter to sales, which is an existing field in the attribute table for my customer's layer. The rings expand outward from my stores until 70% and 90% of my total sales volume are contained within. The output feature class attribute table contains fields that list the number of customers and total sales within each ring. Thanks for watching. Thank you.